the box in the attic. Thank you, Contest Master and Toastmasters. This is a common experience of us all, isn't it? I know so because you've heard at least six other box finding <laughs> attic stories prior to mine. Uh, so here's my story of the box in the attic. It was early in the morning. I was still in my pajamas. I crawled up into the attic because I was searching for something. When I got in there, the door closed up behind me. And uh, unfortunately, I was locked in. <laughs> I stomped on it a few times and couldn't get it to open. And no one, was, no one else was around. I was home alone. <laughs> uh, but I found this box that was intriguing me, at least. And I went over to it. I looked at it. It was uh, kind of brown, a little moldy, had that yellow tape that didn't even stick anymore, and very dusty. So I did the <coughs> <laughs> And the tape just disintegrated along with the dust into the air. So it's easy for me to open it now. I started to open it. Then I'll crawl the spider. And then, when I opened the box and peered inside, I found out it was empty. <laughs> so then my mind went back to where I was uh, trapped in the attic now. I didn't have my cell phone. I was in my pajamas. Nobody's around. So I just waited for a while, walking around, looking at the trinkets and creatures in the attic. But I really had to go to the bathroom. <laughs> there were no windows. But I had an empty box. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to hold out as long as I could, <laughs> hoping someone would come home and help me out with the attic. Madam Contest Master. <laughs>